I don't think I've ever filmed on the floor before in my whole however many years of YouTube. Also, let's not talk about my hair because honestly, it's the bane of my life at the moment. I know, first world problems. I just need it cutting, Ben. And I don't know what color it is at the moment. Literally, the silver has kind of turned into some sort of like greeny blue. And I'm growing it out, so I'm growing the bleach out, so I'm not getting it bleached again, which is why it's kind of like gone to this weird kind of tone. So yeah, until I find my place, <laughs> until I find my place in my new flat of where I'm gonna film, this is where I'm filming at the moment. Um, and I thought I would do a video about regret. I don't regret a lot of things in life, but these purchases are things that I regret. <laughs> I don't necessarily like regret them. I think regret is a strong word. Also, hi, if you're new, it's Joel here, aka Galax. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed, why haven't you? And yeah, make sure you click that little bell for notifications so you know when I bring out a new video. Yeah, so regret. Regret. People are like, I don't regret anything in life. And it's like, well, me neither really. Like I, I know why I made these purchases and I'm happy and comfortable in the fact as to why. Now, after owning them for months and months and months and not wearing them, I'm like, did I really need this? So I guess it's not regret, it's more like questionable. <laughs> questionable purchases. Maybe this video should be called questionable purchases. Um, also, side note, I have been plagiarized by Amiri. Um, so I brought out t-shirts last uh, November um, that I designed myself. I put one of my favorite quotes on it in my own handwriting and it's, I'll let you drag me to hell if it means you'll hold my hand. Amiri, boom, just brought out this on Matches Fashion, um, Essence, I don't know what other sites Amiri is stocked on, probably a lot because it's everywhere. It's like $300 or whatever. Obviously you can't get my t-shirt anymore because it was limited edition. Um, but thank you to everyone who purchased it. But I was shook. I was like, have I just been plagiarized? Is this a Diet Prada moment? Obviously it's a quote and anyone can use a quote, but like I hadn't seen it on a t-shirt before my t-shirt and now Amiri is doing it. Like, sus, sus, suspect. Like, suspect, is that the right word to use? Anyway, aside from my being plagiarized. Anyway, on with the actual video. <laughs> um, so things that I have regretted by. So the first is a, a white denim jacket from Noak, N-O-A-K. I thought it was really cute online and it actually is really nice and it's got a red like stitching throughout. So it's like contrast stitch, but with red. And I did love it and then I bought it. And this was months ago and I've just not worn it. So I'm like, was this worth buying? Was there any point in buying this? Sure, I just, I think I impulse buy. I think a lot of us impulse buy and it's very, very bad. Yeah, so yeah, I don't know if I'll actually wear this. I might just end up selling it after buying it for no reason. Like, what a waste of my time. The next from ASOS. I bought these because they look like the um, Yeezy slides. Like, they have a massive felt gross drop in them. I actually wore them once in Las Vegas when I went to Vegas with Sunglass Hut. Uh, by the pool and I felt so stupid because they are so big and they're so uncomfortable as well They're not easy to walk in at all and I was just like why I spend 16 pounds on these dumbass slides when I have perfectly good like Nike or Adidas ones I was like this was dumb now this might be quite shocking to you as shocking as a video from me could be <laughs> Which is not very um, I don't like tabby boots <gasps> That's as shocking as it gets here honestly. Um, is this Balenciaga hoodie? I I fell in love with this when I saw it online and I was like, this is amazing. But, okay, so they only had women's sizes. So I bought it in a medium in women's thinking it would be really oversized and actually it just kind of fits and it actually feels a bit short on the sleeves. I think if I got it in the men's medium, it would have been so much better. I don't know if there's a difference between the men's and the women's sizes, but I do think there is because I have a medium hoodie that I bought in Vegas, the white one, and it it's fine on the sleeves, whereas this feels a little bit short and I hate wearing stuff that feels too short on the sleeves. And it's not even in a boxy way, like it's just too small for me. So this was like 500 pounds. And it's like, I've worn this a few times, but not nearly enough as I thought I would. I also think the colorway puts me off too, because it's like a dark gray with navy blue um, logo on it. And it's just like, with black jeans and even with blue jeans um, or with black trousers and stuff, it just falls a bit flat. Helmet Lang, so I bought this, okay, I, there's, a, there's a running theme here in the stuff that I've regretted buying and I mainly buy it just for like a trip or just for like an event or something. So, so I bought this matching set. So the denim jacket, 
amazing. Fit, so good. Color, amazing. So I was like, I need the matching denim. Helmet Lang is a minefield when it comes to denim. There's low rise, there's high rise, there's mask fit, there's like femme fit. There's like, they do, they, okay, so in the denim it says, Helmet Lang, jeans for women and men, which is great, amazing, love that inclusivity. I had no idea when I ordered them. I got them from Farfetch and they looked great on the model. And then when I put them on, honestly, like, so bad. I don't know if I can even, I was shocked at the fit of these. They had, they have such a small area from crotch to like the button. And then the actual trouser leg are so long, like I had to roll them up. I did get a fire outfit photo um, at LACMA. Whilst wearing them, it was like, I was like, my ass looked like it was chewing something as I walked along, which hey, it's a great look, but also like very uncomfortable. Uh, I couldn't really walk properly. I was wearing my new cowboy boots as well, so I was a bit like, eh, eh, eh. Um, so, yeah, just be really careful. This is why I always say to people when they talk to me about the fit of denim or like jeans or whatever you want to call them. And I actually, when I buy denim, I order loads of different sizes. I go in store and I try it on as much as I can um, because it's so important because you're going to get like a lot of wear out of these. If these were perfect, it's like the bare knuckles ones that I ordered. The fit was not good and the fit on these is not good either. So I haven't been able to find like a white or cream pair of denim that are a good fit. So yeah, that was a regret too. Okay, a pair of shoes. My beloved 80s. I love these so much. They are so nice, which is such a shame. I don't know if you remember my unboxing of these, um, but they are the square toe kind of like Derby shoes. And I can't I think they're called like Phoenix. Yeah, the Phoenix leather in black. They're so cool and they look so nice on. But bitch, I can't walk in these. Honestly, I give props to anyone who wears these out and is able to walk in them. It feels like you have two blocks of cement in the shape of badminton rackets on your feet. Walking is near impossible. Right, Balenciaga Triple S, no problem. Balenciaga Track Sneakers, no problem. Buffalo shoes, no problem. 80s Phoenix leather, you got a problem. Next up, again, I bought this. Acne suit, it's orange, it's amazing, it's so nice. I don't know if you can see it properly, I'll probably just take it out of the dust bag now. Um, I got this to go to my friend's wedding. My friend's wedding had a tropical theme and I was like, I'll go with orange, like feeling my jungle fantasy. It's so nice, it's got the matching trousers too. And it's a really nice fit, um, but I haven't worn it since. Actually, wait, I didn't even wear it to the wedding. That's the thing. I got it for the wedding, didn't wear it to the wedding. I got it um, a few months before because I thought it was gonna sell out because th this is hot property, this acne suit. And I was like, this is so nice. The buttons are so cool. They're like black matte rings. Like I wore it for an Instagram photo and was like, yeah, I'm gonna wear this to the wedding. And then it came round to the time of my friend's wedding and me and Scott decided to go matching in like jewel tone suits from Top Man in the end, um, which made, this kind of defunct um, and I've not worn it since. And it, it's something that I think I can break out and wear like in the future. But honestly, again, this was like 400, 600, I don't know. I can't remember how much this was. This is a lot of money and to not wear something. That's why when I buy luxury pieces, I like to wear them all the time. Like if you're gonna spend a lot of money on something. You better be wearing it every single day um, because Otherwise, it's just like sitting in your wardrobe doing nothing. And I feel bad for the suit because the suit wants to be worn. And finally, again, this will shock people. Prepare yourselves for this most shocking revelation. My Prada shirt. <laughs> I love this shirt so much. Like, it's beautiful. However, the main reason that I got this shirt is because of the design here on the right. Because the original design of this this original, this design was originally on a shirt with like a white top and then this kissing Cleopatra and Elvis Presley, I believe. Yeah, and then they did a like a new season print with this. Um, so like half floral and then half with the kissing people. And I was like, it's so cool, but mainly I got it for the kissy people. Um, but then wearing it hasn't really happened because it's, the, again, similar to the Balenciaga hoodie in the sense that the colors fall a bit flat for me. Like it is beautiful, 
um, and I do really appreciate it, but I just haven't worn it as much as I thought I would, especially for the price of the shirt. I got the all black one in nylon, which I've worn a hell of a lot more than I've worn this one. So I'm just wondering like whether investing in printed pieces, um, especially when they're so like of the moment is worth our time and money. Yeah, I wish I'd worn it more, but I haven't and it makes me sad. But that's what this whole video is about really, just like things that I've purchased over the past year or so that I've not worn as much and then have kind of regretted buying. It's like, should I have put my money somewhere else? And yeah, I wonder if you guys have ever felt the same about regret in life, not just clothes purchasing. That's kind of it guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Don't